Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. Thank you to all our Facebook Live visitors who are hanging in with us. If you've got any questions for our for our guests, feel free to ask them. And this is the, this is my favorite part of the show where we brought all of our guests back. We're gonna have a nice little panel discussion. We're gonna talk about some broader topics. We're gonna talk more about instead of the specific businesses, really the the lessons that we've learned as business owners and the and the things that we the advice we might have for our audience. So now all of you are business owners. Mm -hmm. All of you are successful women. You're in relationships. You have personal goals too. You're all involved in the community in some way or another. Um, I, I I don't know where you guys find the time. You're much more active than I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm in bed at ten every night because I can't keep my eyes open anymore. But how do you keep it all going, right? How do you how do you keep all those plates spinning? How do you, Michelle? How do you how do you do all the things you do, especially especially in fitness competition where eating right and sleep and mm -hmm. getting enough water every day is so important. How do you how do you keep all this going? Honestly, it's sleep. That's the one thing. Um, I, I took a, a nap this afternoon and I kind of woke up in a daze, but at the same time I'm like, oh, that was so needed. <laughs> you know, there's something about a nap that really repairs everything and it shuts off the monkey mind. And so after the day when I've done my list and, and everything's accomplished, hopefully, I find that sleep is the one thing that is like the most important that I will shut off my phone and I don't go to nightclubs and I don't mm -hmm. party, you know, like by 10 o'clock. And there's something about that, like I, I actually find like if I do go out and I do have fun, it takes a while to kind of repair and kind of come back to life. Mm -hmm. So I find that sleep to me is like the number one thing I yeah. could never go without. Yeah, yep. that, that, I agree with that. Mine too. Mine <laughs> yeah, too. absolutely. All right, so you guys have to pick something else. <laughs> you can't say the same thing. Yes. So, just tell you what, what, uh, what, what? How do you keep the plates spinning? Well, for me, this is something that I'm still learning to do. Okay. Um, but with me, it's just surrounding myself with other entrepreneurs or other people that are also going through what I'm going through, mm -hmm. and you know. So we can be our own support team. Absolutely, having a team around you. We talk about that all the time. Mm -hmm. Is building the right team about around yep. you, uh, Lucy. That's what you help help some of these young yeah, women with, no. with their businesses. Yeah, and you've got to build your tribe. I couldn't. I have an amazing mastermind group, and I talk with them constantly, mm -hmm. and they lift me up when I'm just having like a rough day. So yeah, tribe is so important. Um, you know, and some days it's really hard to keep the plate spinning. Like I have a one year old. I've got a business life my husband is in the military and is gone 12 hours a day like mm -hmm. it's some days it's it's really hard and i don't want to create that illusion of like oh yeah i just spent plates <laughs> and like everything's great no it's hard mm -hmm. um i find that yeah sleep having that support network is so important um and as well, like asking for help, like I could not live without my childcare provider. So She's important. a lifesaver. <laughs> so important to ask for help, and yeah, I, I, I think that's a lesson you've helped me learn over the last year. Is yeah, don't be afraid. So important. There, there are, there really are. Um, Las Vegas is a very unique city, and it has a reputation of being a very hard place, but. I gotta say, and especially after October first, this community—if you ask for help, there are people who will help mm -hmm. you here. And that's yep. that's a great piece of advice for our our viewers and people who are thinking about starting a business. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Someone will help you. Not everyone, <laughs> but but there are there are people out there who really want to help other people. What I love about Vegas actually is that the fact that women work together so well when it comes to like when they say what they do or what they're involved in and then I, and then they say oh i know someone you should meet it's a mm. very tethering we were just doing this in the green right? room <laughs> exactly and so um lisa chastain just a little name drop there <laughs> but um yeah like i find that women and i don't know if it's like a social media thing or it's it's like um now current is like women tethering together so well with empowering motivating and entrepreneurship like never before yeah, it's I don't amazing. mean to like you know push you out. No, but, no, you know, hey, like... this is this, this show is about your stories, not about mine. If if I if I thought a show people would watch a show about me telling my story, I would just sit here and tell my story. But <laughs> but uh, I, well, I, I want to pull this thread a little bit. I got a lot of questions, but I want to pull this thread because one of the things I've learned getting into business is that there are a lot of women support groups, both formal and informal. And I think you all belong to some of the women support group. I don't want. The women's networking groups, the women, yeah. the women's business association. I don't want to call them support groups because they're they're more structured than that. But what are some of the groups you belong to where where women business owners can get that support? Maybe go ask for help if they if they need it. So I'm actually really big in like online communities, and that's just how things have played out. Having a one year old and a business, and just you know, I've been through a season where I've been at home a lot, and mm -hmm. so I've had to lean on online communities. So uh, Boss Mom was 
the first community that I really immersed myself into. Um, I found all of my clients through that community. I found my mastermind, my business coach, my team members, so everything. Yeah, cool. 25,000 awesome. people now. It's, wow. it's growing so fast. So, so yeah. search for it. Boss Not now, mom. watch the rest of the show. <laughs> Boss Mom on Facebook, yeah. yes? Okay, Shatoya, what, what groups are you in? Um, I, right now, um, I started going to a, a Through Lori's group. I'm, okay. Uh, Limitless <laughs> has just started. Limitless, okay. Lori Algeria, I don't think she's watching, but we'll give her a little <laughs> plug because if if there's a group in Las Vegas, especially a women's group, Lori's involved in it. Yeah. So so look up Lori Algeria on Facebook. <laughs> I'll give her a little plug because she, she, she knows everybody and she connects everybody, men, women, all together. So. So when I moved to Vegas, there was a mixer group that um, completely changed my life. And that's uh, thanks to Yvette Auger and Cosmopolitan Connections. It's, it's every Wednesday. It's from 7 to 9. It's at different locations. And if it wasn't for Yvette, she's the one who linked me up with a gentleman from KL KLAV Radio. And that's kind of how I started my broadcasting. Mm -hmm. So it's all word of mouth it's all about who you know but i think face to face um even though on the internet it's great to go live like you do lucy mm -hmm. um but yeah I, I find that my fitness team with my women um that definitely kind of centers in on business ideas to kind of what do you think about this and what do you think about that but um ultimately networking groups cosmopolitan connections was the best it was it's, it's a good group awesome group it's a good group yeah um Businesses come with a lot of surprises. What's the biggest surprise you found once you got into business, Lucy? Oh, um, probably just growing pains and being able to identify them. I've kind of been going through this lately. My business has grown a lot in the past year. Mm -hmm. And I sort of hit this point where things just felt a little bit harder. And mm -hmm. I had to figure out with the help of my kind of support network that I was going through growing pains. And that's a good thing. Yeah, and it's a good problem to have, right? It, but it just like it's hard to have that personal growth and that business growth and just sort of shift things a little bit and adjust and get ready mm -hmm. for that. Um, and to move into it. the next stage as well because yeah. you have that like startup stage, the growth stage, the scaling stage and yep. like I'm really in that growth stage now which is awesome. Yeah. But like it's it's been <laughs> it's a journey. It's challenging. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we've talked about support groups, so if you're yeah. looking for some help, start right here. There we go. I mean, not with me, start right here. <laughs> so how about you, Shatoya? What um, was the big surprise to you? Well, with me, um, I actually, uh, about a year and a half ago, I got into, I did a career for door-to-door -door sales. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, I thought, okay, I'm a young woman. It's just going to be very, very easy knocking on someone's door. Mm -hmm. But actually, then I learned that um, people don't want to be bothered. So I had to learn how to communicate with people um, and then That's also learn how to sell. Um, so that was actually probably one of my biggest surprises so far. <laughs> well, welcome, Alex Livingston. Haven't heard from you in a while, but thank you for watching the show. If you've got any questions for our group, Tracy's here too. Thanks for joining us. Um, how about you, Michelle? What was one of the surprises? I mean, you're, you've been involved in so many things. Mm -hmm. it's, it's probably been a constant series of surprises as you've moved, as you've evolved through all the things you've done. But what's a what's a big surprise you got once you started getting into business? Um, don't be afraid to wear many hats at once, right, Lucy? Mm -hmm. Got to be uh, multitasking and wearing different hats at once but one of the things I find is that don't be don't be so hard on yourself um, especially social media and comparing and all that stuff but don't be afraid to take two steps back to take one step forward because I find with weight training I really want to lift heavier and I want to go harder but I find at the end of the day like I'm so worn out that I kind of have to be easier on myself to rest repair do the things that are necessary in order to go back and like really kick some ass. Sorry. Yep. Yep. That Today. speaks to me so much, especially I've been calling like the growing pains, like going yes. through a renovation. Like yes. if my business Cleaning was a house. house. Yeah. yeah. I'm like doing a renovation. High five. I just yeah. got goosebumps. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's so important to uh, take those steps back, to do that self-reflection. And, yeah. and sometimes when you're growing really fast, you might be growing, you hopefully you're growing in the direction you want to grow. You might be getting an opportunity to grow in a great direction you didn't think of, but sometimes you might be growing in a direction that isn't where you want to go. Mm -hmm. So speaking of growing in a direction we didn't want to grow, we're running out of time. So <laughs> very quickly, tell everyone where they can reach you guys. Lucy, where can everybody reach uh, Best you? place is Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the Lucy Cantley on my website, lucycantley.com. Um, for me, um, if you guys want to uh, Google my name, Shatoya Stressing, um, you guys can reach me there or call me or at our number, 702-952-2711. 
And if you'd like to watch Michelle Davis Fitness, you can get more information right here every Thursday, 1 p.m. And you can also follow Michelle Davis Fitness on IG and on Facebook as well. Yeah, it, Facebook, Instagram, you guys are all on there. So mm -hmm. search for them there. It's good for their Google results. I'm Jason LaDuke from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants. This has been Geeks Are Sexy. Thank you for watching us on our business segment every month. We'll be back next month. And we have a different time slot next month. That's right. We do. It's going to be every Thursday from 2 to 3 p.m. Okay, so uh, every set, set your DVD. VR, I guess, or whatever it is you do. Don't worry, I'll remind you. We'll see you next month. If you want to be on the show, let me know. We'd love to have you as a guest. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next month. Bye. Bye.